time of your life. Social media has become a big influence on most teenagers' lives. It has both positive and negative influences on us. For a lot of people in my age group, social media is an outlet for thoughts that they share with their peers. A survey taken in 2014 and 15 showed that 94% of teenagers use social media. What is social media? Websites and applications that enable users to share and to create content or to participate in social networking. For, uh, for example, WhatsApp, Twitter, and Facebook. Websites where you can interact with other people your age mean a lot to teenagers because it, uh, it is a platform for self-expression. You can be a different person or you can express who you really are. A whole new world. It is a place to turn to to feel accepted because you receive likes and followers. Most people portray themselves as someone they're not. Social media is addictive precisely, it, precisely because it gives us something the real world lacks. It gives us immediacy, direction, and, in, in, as, and, a, and a value as an individual. People mostly portray the good aspects of their lives, but never the negative aspects. They show how rich they are or how happy they are. They never show when they're going through a rough time or things are bad at home. They put on a facade and act like everything is okay. As teenagers, we always see this, and we, and we, as teenagers, we always see this, and as teenagers, we always see what we do not have and begin to doubt ourselves. We begin to lose our self-esteem and confidence because we do not look a certain way or do not have certain things. Our self-image is damaged because we all want to look and do things that are trending. Social media has created a jealous, a jealous behavior over illusions. Sadly, that sadly, social media has created jealous behavior over illusions. Sadly, some are envious of things, relationships, and lifestyle that do not even exist. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. We should stop trying to fit in and embrace our individuality. Love what you are without, without, without worrying about judgment. Some teenagers are so focused, so focused on getting social connections that they lose their real life connections. They become so addicted to social media they eventually lose themselves. We should not rely on unrealistic connections. Do not lose what appears to be real. Do not change, do not use what appears, do not use what is real chasing what it appears to be. Social media makes, social media makes us question things we believe in, our culture, religion, and our own perspective. Social media can be a place for us to learn new things and ideas. It can also help us reach out to people from different parts of the world. It opens doors for us to learn about new cultures and new different things. We can also see that people do share interests and dislikes as we do. Having likes and followers can boost the way we feel about ourselves, but we have to we have to know the difference between real people liking you and people on the internet liking you. Jessica Logan was a petite, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Ohio senior. She committed suicide after sexting a nude photo of herself to her boyfriend. When they broke up, he sent it all over social media. She was harassed and called names. Hannah Smith, a 14-year-old girl from England, hung herself in her bedroom. In weeks leading to her suicide, she was subjected to cruel taunts and insults about her weight on social media. The bullies told her to drink bleach and cut herself. Some teenagers see, some teenagers see, some teenagers see what other teenagers have, some teenagers see what teenagers, some teenagers see other teenagers what they have, but some teenagers see what other teenagers, some teenagers see other teenagers with what they want but do not have and decide to bully them. Cyberbullying is a big thing. It may even cause a person to take their life. They have because they, because they are treated a certain way. Bullying this person will not make you look better or will not give you the things they have. You are responsible for, you, for everything you post, and everything you post will be a reflection on you as a person. For teenagers who feel marginalized, social media can help them connect with other people. 
so they can feel accepted. Research shows 46% of teenagers agree that social media empowers them to empowers them to speak about things they care about. Media today has a huge influence on us. We should see that we should use it positively and, and, and allow it and not allow us to affect us negatively. So you must stay true to our individuality and allow and not allow opinions to change because everyone else disagrees. Make sure you're happy in real life and not just on social media. How much time are you really spending online aimlessly scrolling through your social media feed? Imagine what you would do if you applied half of that time to self-development. What could you accomplish?